Sir David Tafuri. Um, all right, great to have you both with us. David, I'd like to start with you. Um, this is Netanyahu's first trip abroad since the October 7th attacks, and many in Israel are furious that he's here giving speeches instead of being home working out a hostage deal. One Israeli newspaper wrote today, never ever before has there been such a large chasm between high words and contradictory actions. Yeah, it's hard to figure out why he came here now. Certainly, he's trying to play both parties. He wants to have meetings with both parties. He was invited by uh, senior Republican officials in Congress to do a joint address to Congress. And President Biden, of course, received him. And he'll also meet uh, Vice President Harris. What are his goals by being here? It seems to be just to shore up support in the United States, not only with the U.S. government, but with the U.S. people. It's unclear if that's working, given the number of protests that happened, and especially given the fact that some of the family members of Americans who are still held hostage are very upset by the fact that he's not here and that he's not accomplishing a ceasefire. He seems to hold the keys to the ceasefire now. They're very close to achieving it. There are certain things that Israel has to compromise on, and I think we can have a ceasefire. And that's the main objective of President Biden and it was the main uh, goal of President Biden's meeting with Netanyahu. Yeah.